So in the last tutorial I showed you how to code a full climbing system and today we're going to further extend this by adding ledge grabbing and ledge jumping. For the base movement I'm going to use my first person movement script. You can use your own one if you want to but you will have to add a few lines of code. And if you have a third person controller that's no problem the code should work just fine. So yeah let's get started. Open up a new script, call it something like ledge grabbing and let's start by defining some variables. First you're going to need references to your player movement script, your orientation which is just an empty game object that keeps track of where the player is facing, your camera and your rigid body. And then let's create the variables needed for the ledge detection. That would be floats for the detection length and sphere cast radius and a layer mask to define what is considered ledge. And last but not least transforms to remember the current and last ledge as well as a raycast hit variable to store the information of the ledge hit. And now let's implement the ledge detection. For this we're going to use a sphere cast. So create a function called ledge detection and use physics.spherecast. Then you want to start at the player's position, apply the radius you defined, set the direction to where the player is looking, store the information in the ledge hit variable, pass in the length of the sphere cast and also define which layers are considered to be ledges. Now if the sphere cast didn't hit anything just stop the function. But if it did you can now calculate the distance to the ledge using vector3.distance. And of course don't forget to call this function in void update. Ok now we're going to need a few more variables to implement the ledge grabbing. So create floats for the move to ledge speed, max ledge grab distance, minimum time on ledge and current time on ledge. Also a bool to check if you're currently holding onto a ledge. And now let's create functions to enter a ledge hold, to freeze the rigid body on a ledge and then to exit the ledge hold again. Now you want to enter a ledge hold whenever the distance to the ledge isn't over the maximum you defined and you're not already holding onto a ledge. Also make sure that this only works with new ledges. And inside of the enter ledge hold function let's set holding to true, store the current and last ledge for later, deactivate the gravity and remove all momentum of the rigid body. And now to call the two other functions we're once again going to create a simple state machine. In there you first want to get the horizontal and vertical keyboard inputs like this and then you can define when any of the input keys are pressed. Now if you're holding onto a ledge you want to call the freeze rigid body function. Also count up the time on ledge variable and if the minimum time is reached and any input key is pressed that means the player wants to exit the ledge hold again. And once again call this function in void update. With that set up let's now code the ledge grabbing. So the idea is that if the player is somewhere here and looking at the ledge then first he gets pulled towards the ledge and then he just freezes there. So inside of this function let's first make sure that the gravity stays off. Then you can calculate the direction to the ledge using basic vector maths. And the distance just as you did before. Now if the distance is greater than 1 we want to add force to the rigid body in the direction we just calculated. But only if the rigid body is not moving faster than our move to ledge speed. If the distance is below that means the player has reached the ledge and you want to freeze his position. And by the way if you're confused with this freeze bool this is handled by the player movement script. I did show it in other tutorials as well but in case you didn't watch them I just added a freeze and unlimited state as well as a freeze and unlimited bool. And then in the state machine when freeze is active just set the rigid body's velocity to zero and when unlimited is active set the move speed to something really high and return the function. And you're also going to need this bool called restricted. And then if it's active you just want to stop the normal player movement function. Which means that the player can't move by using his keyboard keys. Ok now let's use these options. 
So let's set unlimited to true when we enter a ledge hold and set it to false again once we reach the ledge. This makes sure that the player movement script isn't limiting the speed of the rigid body. Also it's a good idea to set restricted to true as well and then set it to false when you exit a ledge hold. Because if you're moving towards a ledge you shouldn't be able to use your movement keys. And then we want to exit the ledge hold if the distance is greater than the max ledge grab distance. And then inside of the exit ledge hold function set holding to false, reset the time on ledge, set freeze to false and activate the gravity again. Also create a function called reset last ledge and invoke it with a delay of 1 second. This basically makes sure that you can't grab onto the same ledge within 1 second after leaving it. Now head back to Unity, add the script to your player, assign all of the references and set the values to something like this. And now to create these orange ledges I use ProBuilder. But you could also use a normal cube. Then create a new layer mask for what is ledge and one for what is player. And of course make sure that all of your ledge objects have the what is ledge mask assigned and your player has the what is player mask assigned. Now to make sure that the sphere cast works the ledges need to have box colliders. But then if the player climbs up to them he bumps his head into the collider which isn't optimal to say the least. So go to edit, project settings, physics and then make sure that everything in the what is ledge layer cannot collide with anything from what is player. Now the player no longer collides with ledges and you can hit play to test it out. You should be able to hold onto a ledge and then after a short delay continue with climbing or wall running. Ok now that the ledge grabbing is working let's implement ledge jumping. First we're going to need a few more variables like a key code for the jump key as well as floats for the ledge jump forward force and upward force. Also a bool called exiting ledge and a float for the exit ledge time and exit ledge timer. Now create a function for the ledge jump. And in there you first want to exit the ledge hold and then calculate the force to add by using cam.forward times the forward force plus orientation.up times the upward force. And then you can reset the rigid body's velocity and add the force by using rigidbody.addForce and forcemode.impulse. Also it works smoother together with the player movement script if you wait a little bit before adding the force. Something like 0.05 seconds should be enough. And you want to call this ledge jump function if the jump key is pressed and you're currently holding onto a ledge. Now let's implement the exiting state. For this just count down the exit ledge timer if it's above 0 and if it's below 0 set exiting ledge to false. Now in the exit ledge hold function you can just set exiting ledge to true and start the timer. And I know so far this state isn't doing anything but we're going to need it to fix some problems later. But now go back to unity, set the variables to something like this and hit play. And as you can see the ledge jumping works. Now there are just a few minor problems left but we're quickly going to fix them. The first one would be that when looking at a wall while starting a ledge jump you can actually do a ledge jump and a climb jump at the same time which makes everything a bit inconsistent. So open your climbing script and in there you want to reference the ledge grabbing script like this. Quickly get the component in void start and then just stop the climb jump function if you're holding onto a ledge or if you're trying to exit a ledge. And if you followed along with the wall running tutorial make sure to repeat the same process in the wall running script. Also in the state machine of the climbing script just quickly add a new state for ledge grabbing and in there stop any active climbs. If you don't do that the climbing won't stop when you reach a ledge and even though you can't move you're going to lose climb time. And we're almost done. But the last thing that needs to be fixed is the whole way momentum is handled. However you only have this code if you followed along with the sliding tutorial. So if not just skip ahead like 20 seconds. 
So create a keep momentum bool and make sure that in every state you set the desired move speed to the value you want. Don't change the move speed directly. And whenever you want to keep the momentum, when sliding for example, make sure to set keep momentum to true. Then quickly check if the desired move speed has changed. If it did and you want to keep the momentum, use your coroutine. If not, just set the move speed directly. And as soon as the momentum has faded away, you can set keep momentum to false again. And yeah, congratulations! With that you have completed a full climbing plus ledge grabbing ability. As always, you can download this entire project file for free over my Discord server. So if you have trouble getting this to work, you can see exactly how I set everything up. But now thank you so much for watching. If this tutorial has helped you in any way, make sure to like the video in return and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tutorials. See you next time!